hey guys make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and like the video and get notifications for every time we post videos which isn't very often and also if you want to see how I uh, made this timer that is accurate 10 seconds then enjoy the video hello everybody welcome back to another minecraft video today we'll be doing another command block tutorials I'll be showing you how to make a timer in minecraft using commands this is actually something I use in almost all of my data packs except for that cramming one and I think it really comes in handy have you ever found yourself just placing like 200 repeaters in a line and you're like oh my gosh this is so hard I wish there was just a wait command and I could just put a command block right here and then just say wait 20 seconds and then it would keep going well there is something you can do that is very similar instead of putting down all these repeaters there is actually a well basically a wait command you can use first of all if you have really been called in this scenario where you're putting down repeaters then you probably know how often redstone current gets updated and how long the delay is for each repeater so the delay is one tick now when we're talking about redstone the tick is one tenth of a second it starts out like that but with a repeater we can delay it another tick another tick and then a maximum of four ticks which comes out to five repeaters equaling two seconds if they're all set to the maximum of four ticks so with command blocks it's a little different one tick is actually 20th of a second when you're talking about command blocks so that can be a little bit confusing so here's how you can actually do a wait command I want this to say you have 20 seconds when I click the button okay so if I just click this right now it says you have 20 seconds and times up at exactly the same time which doesn't really make sense I, yeah I want this to say times up 20 seconds after it says I have 20 seconds so I could just do this and place a hundred repeaters in a row but that would take a long time and also takes up space and when you're coding a data pack you can't put down repeaters so here's what you can do you can first run the command scoreboard objectives add so a, so the scoreboard basically keeps the score you can have it display in the um, on the right of your screen if you've played high pixel you know on the right where it says what map you have and everything that's a scoreboard they just um, if you look on the very um, if you look on one of the sides of that scoreboard you can see numbers like one two three um, and it goes to like 12 or something because it's a scoreboard and those are just names of like entities that have the score bed wars or something but um we can add an objective which is going to be the name of the scoreboard basically and we can add it just like timer let's call it timer and we're going to make this a dummy which means it isn't affected by any of this like death count food health it's not affected by any of this like if you break something you would make it not a dummy if you weren't just doing a timer but we're going to be doing a timer so when you do slash scoreboard objectives add timer dummy this command will be in the description then we created the new objective timer now we need an entity to actually be the timer this can be a player but if you're coding a data pack that is not that doesn't completely revolve around a player because if a player disconnects the score the you can't add or remove score from them so that can, that can be a little bit annoying if you're a coder we could get um, an armor stand and make this our entity and we could make it invulnerable and all of that but um, for this video we're just going to be using me so now we can put down a repeating command block we can make this repeating command block well let's just say it needs redstone for now and in here we can do we can do scoreboard players add myself and 14's playing the let's play and I already have all these from my data pack but let's go all the way down to timer done 
Now that will add to our timer score. And since it's a repeat, it'll add, a, it'll, oh, wait, sorry. And then we need to add, it, we need to add a one to it. Done. And, um, and since it is on repeat, it will add one to our score every tick, which is a twentieth of a second. So when our score reaches 20, one second will have passed, but this is only if this has redstone. So now we have a scoreboard that will start counting when I flick this lever, but we won't see it on the side of our screen. So this is how you can make it visible. Um, you don't need to do this, um, but I'm just going to be doing it so that you guys can see it. Timer. Okay, now when I put this on, you can see it starts counting on my side. So when the number hits 400, 10 seconds will have passed. Here's how we can hook up a command block to run with this timer. We can execute as all players, but only if they have the score for timer, only if that's equal to zero. Will it say you have 10 seconds? But of course, I will be the one saying this. We could use a tell raw command to make it nicer looking, but right now we're going over the timer, not that. And we can make it always active. Then we can make another one. We don't have to have these hooked up. We can basically just take the same command and paste it into here. Except we want this to say, we want this to say, time's up. And then we want it only if we have a score of 400. Always active. Oh wait, I just realized. We actually should have this one, because if you have a score of zero, it doesn't come up as one of your scores. So we actually need to have that as one. And if you if you really want down to the very 20th of a second, put this 401. If you want, um, I don't really go that far into it. I don't think it's a big deal. It's only 1 20th of a second. Now we can have a, another command block that will just reset the score, so we can do this again. So players you can use reset I think I normally just use set I can do all players timer zero done let's just a button to this so now let me just do this real quick now my score is zero if I do reset I think it goes away wait make this a uh, repeat and this repeat too. I have 10 seconds. Got it. Great. And time's up. Okay, okay. Now let me just stop. Let me click this to reset it. I have 10 seconds. We have a timer here. Now you can basically hook this up to anything. First of all, you don't need redstone to connect them. It's completely wireless. You don't need a chain either. It doesn't have to be the same function. You can you can just be whatever you want. Let's say I also want to play noise. Okay, guys. Watch this. I have 10 seconds. See that? That was the beacon deactivate sound. Anyway, that's how you make a timer in Minecraft. Just wanted to show everybody who didn't know, because I know I found myself placing down 200 repeaters. That's not an exaggeration. But, um, I thought, hmm, there should really be a wait command in Minecraft. And I use this when I code data packs because you can't have a wait command. So, just wanted to share that with you. Um, bye!